All right, guys, welcome, welcome to, I don't know what week we're on at this point, but psychic sensitivity training. And this is the last couple of weeks where we're just going to be, you know, putting things together that we've learned um, so that we can move forward with more confidence. Um, so for today, like I was saying, just because we have some people who are new, I'm not going to go into like the major practice um, unless you guys feel comfortable enough to try at the end. But what I am going to do is introduce you guys to your soul and your higher self through a meditation. Um, and like, don't get discouraged if you get, you know, distracted. Do you guys have much experience with meditation? Okay. Guided so meditation. Amy, I can do listen. guided okay. meditation is really good for me. Yeah. Um, on my own, I'm like a squirrel. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm 100% like that. I, can't, I just can't meditate. I have such a horrible, horrible well, time. Stop talking like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally my, if I, my meditations that I do are like two minutes. And that's okay you know? because you'll build from that. You're building the muscle, but you have to change the wording. You can't say, I can't do meditation because you're telling your mind you can't do it. So you're going to block yourself from doing it. So saying things like, you know, I'm struggling right now or something like that, but try not to use wording. Like I can't because it, it will give us like an internal block. Um, it's interesting how much our mind and mouth are connected, <laughs> even on a subconscious Just level. sometimes the opposite way. The mouth works, but then the brain kicks in. Yeah, but if you say things like, I, like an affirmation kind of, like I'm really great at meditating, I have no problem meditating, um, that you might start to see that shift. And so, Amy, when you get distracted today, I was saying all this to say, if you do get distracted today, it's totally fine. All you have to do is bring your focus back, you know, to where we're at, say, pay attention to my voice. It will guide you. Um, and I think this will be fun. So there are a couple of things, I believe, with this is a, a little bit of a longer meditation. There's might be some things that you want to jot down during the meditation. So if you have like a pen or pencil, just if you want, you can even keep your eyes closed and just jot things down if you'd like. Uh, but this will be recorded. So you don't have to, if you don't want to. All right. So the first thing I would like everyone to do, let me see if you guys can hear this. If I try to play music, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. So can you hear that? Cool. Okay. So just make sure that you're sitting like straight up with both feet planted on the floor. And before we go into the meditation, I'm just gonna help you guys through uh, like a clearing and connection process just to make sure we're nice and clear and connected. So if you're comfortable, just close your eyes. Take those deep, full breaths in through your nose, really filling up your belly like a balloon. Hold and out, nice and slow. Our goal here is just to make that out breath twice as long as the in breath. do that a few more times. As you're doing that, just making sure you're giving yourself permission to relax, allowing your body to fully relax. Just dropping into your heart space. Now I want you to notice that there is this bright light emanating from your heart. 
It's illuminating your entire body. We need to surrender and relax to this light. We feel it moving throughout our entire body. And as it fills us up, we notice it starts to extend to outside of our body. Until this light is illuminating our entire auric field. And I want you to just say to yourself in your mind, I release all cords and attachments, thoughts, feelings, emotions, doubts, fear, and beliefs that do not serve me. I release all energy that is not for my best and highest good. And I command all is released now. Beautiful. Now just taking a breath, releasing all of that energy that no longer serves you. And then just asking your guide, your deity, whoever you want to work with, your soul, to just help you balance out your energy. Help you cleanse it, clear it, protect it. And to help you today to receive the information that you are looking for. And just thanking your guide or deity for being here with you. So moving into the next meditation, just again, allowing your body to feel relaxed. And allowing your eyes to close helps to take some of the extra sensory, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the stimuli away, it makes you easier to focus. Perhaps you can only hear my voice. Or perhaps there are other sounds you can hear in your area. Just notice if there's any other sounds that you hear now. Okay, good. Now stop listening to the sounds and begin to focus on the sensations in your body. What are your fingertips touching? Notice how the palms of your hand feel. What are your feet touching? Notice how the soles of your feet feel.
Now becoming aware of your head. How does your scalp feel? Can you sense how extremely powerful your brain is? And your mind? Can you become aware of your mind? How big do you think that is? Bear, come do this class. This is the one you like, come on. Our mind is our imagination. Our ability to imagine is boundless. The mind does not have any limits whatsoever. And you can literally use the great power of your creative imagination to experience quantum dimensions. So now I'm gonna count down from 10 to one. And with each number I say, you will float along the timeline of your past. Just observing all of the moments of your life pass by without involving any emotion. You're just an observer. So you are gonna float along this timeline of your life all the way to your birth and making your way back to a soul level. And here you can communicate with your higher self or some people will know it as your quantum self. Ten, letting your mind begin to drift back in time what were you doing this morning, yesterday, last month? Nine, see what you were doing last year. Eight, floating back along your timeline. Five years go by, then 10. Seven, drifting all the way back to your school days. See the moments flashing by when you were a teenager. Six, drifting through your childhood. See the places that you lived during these times. Any memories that come, just let them pass by. Five, you are seeing things from when you are very young now. Perhaps they are real accounts of memories you have. Or maybe you can just see stories you were told about your early childhood. Either way is perfect. Four, you are a baby now. Just learning to walk. See these memories as clearly as you can. Three, you are a very tiny baby now, before you could walk. See people caring, caring for you. Observe any colors or sounds you might notice at this time. Two, you are now in your mother's womb. Safe and warm. It's quiet in there and you feel wanted in the world outside of your mother. One, now you are only a spark of life inside your mother, sent from your father. And zero, you are passing through back into the spiritual dimension, the place of unlimited awareness.
observe whatever you are experiencing right now. You start to sense a presence that is pure and beautiful. It is the most intelligent presence that you have ever felt. This presence is your spirit. It's your higher self. Notice the qualities of this existence. What is it like? Just gonna allow for a moment of stillness now. Your higher self has been waiting a really long time for you to come to this moment where you can connect and learn. What form does this higher knowledge take on in this moment? Whatever you sense here is perfectly fine. There is no right or wrong answer. What do they look like? Notice every detail that you can. Your higher self is excited that you are here and listening. The first bit of knowledge this point spirit offers is about you. You in your human form, giving you insight about something you need to know. So open yourself up completely now to anything you need to learn about this current human incarnation that you are experiencing. And try to be still and listen. Listen with an open mind, allowing anything in your mind that needs to present itself do that.
Good, so any messages you receive here and now, you remember them for the rest of your life. This is a very important moment with your total soul consciousness. You may hear messages in the form of words, or you may just have a feeling. Whatever you experience is fine. This is your intuition. Allow your intuition, your soul to speak. This moment you are spending with your intuition is void of any fears. Fear cannot exist when spirit is present. So without any burden of fear, just ask this all knowing higher knowledge, whatever you need to, or anything that comes to mind. Say to your higher self now, how can my human incarnation carry out my soul's purpose? And listen. Incarnating as life on earth is a learning experience, kind of like a school. So ask spirit now anything you need to know to do as a student in human form. And listen now very closely because any message you receive is important. And as you spend this time together, you are completely rejuvenated. Your mind automatically sorts through any problems with ease and clarity. Earth is a chance for us to solve any and all problems with ease and with clarity. Ask your higher self now for anything that comes to mind and listen very closely. There are seven messages your higher self has for you right now. So as they say each of these things to you, sit with the message and allow yourself to make of it what you will. The first is you deserve the best in every situation. You have special gifts.
turn the negatives into a positive. Live and let others live. Remember to make time for play. Meditate as much as you can. Love yourself always. Good, beautiful. And now you're going to merge fully and completely with your higher self, bringing you full access to your intuition during every moment of your human life. Allow yourself to connect completely with your higher self, becoming a powerful force never ever separated again. You are now one with your intuition that guides you while you are in human form. Knowing that human form is only temporary. Now ask your intuition anything that you want and listen with great respect. You are one now with your higher self, whole and complete, able to access infinite intuition at any moment of your physical incarnation. So sit for a moment and really experience the sensation of wholeness. Okay, beautiful. So now we are going to travel back to an experience in a past life that will allow you to clear anything that can be holding you back in this life. 
So I want you to begin to float along your timeline again. And I will count down from five. And with each number I say, you get closer and closer to a past life that you need to witness. A past life that will allow you to release any limitations. Five, drifting along your timeline. Four, three, Two, allowing for your mind to bring you into a past life now. One, you are now in a past life. Gaze around and see what you notice. It appears that this past life is one that allows you to release anything that's holding you back. Removing any blocks you may have. Whatever comes up for you, just open yourself to it. Now look down at your feet. What do they look like? See your surroundings. Where are you? Notice the details if you can of where you are and what you're supposed to notice here. Sense what kind of person you are in this past life experience. What kind of clothes do you wear? What kind of people do you know? How do you feel in that body? Now you see that you're going to a place, perhaps it's an event or a ceremony to remove any blocks you may have. See this day happening now. There are many important people here, those that greatly, greatly support you. See the special things that take place allowing for any limitations to be freed. Feel in your body the sensations of all the blockages dissipating. And just notice how you feel each time something more releases during this special ceremony. You have been waiting for this day for so long. And the others attending this ceremony are also spirits incarnating in this vision. They are here to congratulate you on this advancement into complete freedom. The spirits in this experience are people that you know now, people you have known, and people you will know along your human life. They are pure spirit. And once you feel that you are truly 100% freed, 
See your body glowing with beautiful energy. Beautiful. Now you have completed this spiritual ceremony for this amazing past life experience. You are completely unblocked and you feel more free than you ever have. And now just let your mind leave this ceremony, being happy for the experience you have had here. Let your mind float and drift, bringing into your imagination the thought of a beautiful beach and you are walking through this white sand and it is so soft and warm under your feet. Small waves are lapping against the shore. And as you walk, you see things in the sand like colorful shells, pieces of rock, seaweed, and your own footprints. You notice a piece of driftwood <clears throat> that is the perfect size for writing in the sand with. So you pick it up and you go to where the sand is wet with seawater. Begin to write your name in the sand and notice the sounds the stick makes as you scratch it through the sand. And now take a step back from your name and look at it. You notice a small wave comes and it washes, partially washes away part of your name. And as it does this, it's also washing your fears away. And another wave comes and washes your name away even more, washing away anything that brings you anguish. and another wave and another until your name is washed away by the waves and completely washing away your worries until all you can see is ripples in the sand where your name used to be. And you continue to walk along this beautiful beach, noticing the temperature of the weather and perhaps the sun on your skin the nice breeze that passes you by. <clears throat> Maybe you can hear the waves lapping against the shore and you see some birds flying overhead. And as you walk down a little further, you see a nice chair. So sit in that chair and take a rest. And just gaze out at the beautiful blue ocean. as you do, just noticing the horizon and how the ocean meets the sky. And as you're looking out into this most beautiful scene that you have ever witnessed, 
you notice a small white cloud is brewing on the horizon. And it's coming towards you. When this cloud gets closer, you notice that this cloud is very intelligent. This is the cloud of infinite knowledge. Any questions that you have, just begin to blow them out towards the cloud and watch as you blow anything that you desire to know and the cloud will grow darker and heavier with rain. Continue blowing, allowing for the cloud of knowledge to soak up anything you ponder. It becomes heavy with rain and begins to pour down a warm and gentle storm of purified insight upon you and the beach. This beautiful rainstorm is filling you with infinite knowledge. Enjoy this storm now and soak in the boundless intelligence. Okay, good. So you're having an incredible experience today. One that will last you a lifetime. So we are going to come back now to wakeful awareness, bringing back all that you have learned. So I'm gonna count back up to 10. So one, starting to come back now. Two, feeling good. Three, feeling strong. Four, breathing in fresh oxygen. Five, feeling complete. Six, feeling whole. Seven, feeling wiser. Eight, good, coming back now. Nine, almost there. And 10, feeling happy and rejuvenated just giving yourself a minute for your soul to settle back into your body. Just letting it all integrate for a minute. And when you guys are ready, you may go ahead and open your eyes. And I'm just going to run to the bathroom as you guys are coming back. All right, so how is everybody feeling?
How you doing, Christy? <clears throat> I'm good. Good, good. Yeah. Were you able to get a lot of things from the meditation? Yeah, I mean, there were certain things where I'd, I'd start getting chills and stuff, and um, yeah. I saw horses several times, so that was interesting. You saw what several times? Horses. Oh, nice. Very yeah, nice. I'm not, not sure to make of that, but that was we should look that up. We should, because, you know, when we're like in our subconscious like that, like sometimes, you know, our soul or spirit will use symbols. So looking in like a dream dictionary or something like that, I feel like horses yeah. is a good sign. Were they running yeah. or just standing there? Or? Well, the first one, when you were saying like your higher self, it looked like a horse a creature. Aww. And then, then later on, it was like a field. So it was interesting. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah, I'll be interested. If you want me to help you look into that, I will. Just you're in the divination mm -hmm. chat, right? Mm -hmm. So you can always post in there or message me privately. I know you got to talk. Go ahead and do your thing. <laughs> Miss Amy, how are you, love? Um, exhausted. Okay. Did that take it, a lot out of you? It did. And, <clears throat> you know, going through the, going back, going back. Um, that was super exhausting, um, especially trying to see it without emotion is yeah. a very difficult thing for me to do. It's definitely um, a challenge for sure. Yeah. And you were talking about um, being in the womb and being wanted and everything, and it, it and I've never thought this before. And the thought came into my head was, do, did you even want me? Is what came into my head, like, because of everything and my mom's very long history of drugs. She literally raised me for five years, um, six maybe. And then I lived with my grandparents, but she doesn't talk about it. Like mm. we lived in Alaska when I was a baby, so I don't remember it, but yeah. And then the ne after I heard, after the thought of, you know, did you want me? Did you even want me? Um, I kept hearing, get over it, let it go. Wow. Um, which I know. I, How did that make you feel? Fully, I, I know it, you know, yeah. I, I know that I'm never going to get any kind of resolution from her or basically, you know, my family in general, um, the way I want, I'm not going to ever get the, re the resolution that I want. And so I know I, I have got to get that out of my life. Out not of out of your life because if you keep pushing it away you're just going to keep no 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 no. i mean just get it out of like acceptance a, yeah. a way you know that so that that isn't such a like that that trauma ball that i have isn't such a huge part of me right i did i so, need to get yeah. rid of that Right. So with that is going to come acceptance in the way that things are. And then even finding forgiveness for yourself, like that's our freedom. Like that's how we find freedom. So we're never pushing these parts of us away or down or anything like that. We're, we're becoming whole. We're loving and accepting those parts of us that we feel are damaged. And when we do that, we really have the ability to become whole and get to these places that we feel are impossible. You know what I mean? You know, and, and that's a lot of reasons that it was an easy decision to come out here. Yeah. You know, because there was, it's just so toxic. It is ridiculous and to put up with it your whole life. But right. so I had that. And then when you were guiding us, it was so jumbled and confused confusing so 
first, well, I didn't even see things first. I saw things all at the same time. So like there was like a, a prairie is the best way I can describe it. Um, I kept thinking Little House on the Prairie with the, the way they built fences then and everything. And then um, there was suffrage. Um, the women's suffrage movement back in the 20s. Yeah. I kept seeing though, because you, when you see those women pictured, you know what that is. Yep. And I, I saw those women around me. Um, what do you think that was? I, I have no idea. Can because, I just congratulate you for a minute, Amy? Do you realize yeah. you've gotten more in this meditation than you've ever gotten? so far we're not even all the way through yet i am so yeah. happy for you and so proud of you yeah I, I the suffrage i mean it makes a lot of sense if that is one of my past lives yeah because that's how i think yeah in, in that sense you know um definitely and then so angry about us going back to a time where we're fighting again right for our rights and it wow. just that yeah. one made a lot of sense to me i didn't see exactly where i was um as far as like buildings or anything it was just a group of of women um in white you know how they always were white and then the last thing was um mountains like not mountains here like mountains and um Uh, people, the clothing was um, animal hides. Okay. Wow. And it, it reminded me of um, how Vikings lived. Yeah. And it's funny because the biggest part of me I found out is like 36% thir Scandinavian. Oh, wow. So that was, um, that was interesting. Most definitely. You got a lot of stuff, Amy. I did. And I, I stopped at times because it was so confusing and so jumbled and exhausting. Um, yeah. and then sitting for too long, I, I have to stand up and yeah, that stretch, was a long, but that was yeah. a long, I was curious. Um, you'd be able to get deeper doing a long one to be able to get the information. Cause a lot of times when we're doing our practices, it's just like a two minute, let's breathe. And then let's start seeing what we get. But for me anyway, you know, being in meditation longer helps me get more. So I was hoping that would work well for you. Well, and, um, at, at times, cause it's, you can't really tell, but it's bright right now outside. Yeah. So, you know, when you close your eyes and you still see the, the light. Yeah. So sometimes I would cover my eyes to try to see more um, of what I was seeing. Yeah. But yes. Um, oh my gosh. Yes. I, uh, but that a, a, a lot of what I, what I heard and thoughts were based around um getting through working on um not letting the trauma dictate things yeah like you know every almost everything about me goes back to that you know yeah. i'm who i am because of that and i know that and i've never once you know people oh i wish i could go back and do this i wish i could don't you wish your dad would, nothing can change in my life that happened or that I went through because then it changes everything and it changes me. Yeah. And right. I do like the person that I am. I'm a good person. I just have to get through all that stuff to get the me, the whole me yes. out. And then the beach. Um, I was like in Hawaii or something. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> it was because of where the sun was. 
Oh, that's like such a good idea. That was a really good idea to check that. That's really good. I like it. Yeah. So oh, how are you I feeling about yourself right now? Well, I'm, I'm impressed that I was, you know, the last one we did, all I got was a, a road. Yeah. Out of the, the whole thing, all I got was a road. Yeah, um, but it was still meant something, didn't it? It was still yeah. right. Yep. Yeah, it was the road. Um, it might, uh, Christy said her parents live in Arrowhead. So that's this side of the mountain. And then the other side is okay. the, the Arrowhead side, the one that goes up to where her parents live is the road I saw. That is so funny. That was good. That was really good. So it sounds like you're building more confidence. That makes I me think happy. so. And, and, uh, you know, it, the, the focus thing is my, you know, there's so much going on. It's yeah. hard to get out of my head sometimes. Yeah. And Definitely. I think that's why at the end I felt exhausted because it was work. Oh yeah. You know, getting, yeah. getting anything to come through. I mean, I still haven't found or seen my spirit guide. That's okay. You and, trust that you they're know, there though, right? Yeah. And, and I mean, like yeah, right. when we did the, that, the last class, that class was really good. Um, Thank you. When there was like six or seven of us and oh yeah yeah we were reading auras and stuff yes that was fun that was a lot of fun yeah that one that one was good but this this one was good i yeah i guess i'm just exhausted and surprised yeah. so along with like what we were doing today like even just traveling back on our timeline too you'll you will notice you might be a little tired for the rest of the day today like when we're digging deep like that, we're going to our past, we're going into our subconscious, we're going to past lives, like energetically, we're going through a lot. Um, so we'll be very thirsty afterwards for like the next day, um, maybe even the day after or the day of and the next day, the day after. Um, so lots of water, they say, will help that energy move through you more like to kind of shorten that like healing hangover, if that's what you want to call it. Um, so that will work too. So just make sure too, like if your body's telling you to rest, you rest. If your body's telling you to sleep, you sleep, just like really listen to your body like today and the rest of today and do what feels right for you. Sound good. Good, good. Okay. Hi, Carrie. I'm not sure when you came in to the meditation. Did you want to share anything that you got or? Oh, wait, I don't hear you. Here. Can you hear me now? Yes. <laughs> okay. I wasn't sure how many mutes work. So in the car, I like muted my phone and muted <laughs> on the car. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I was in it almost the whole time. Tears flowing. Meditation does that, especially like going back in deep, but like in such a peaceful happy release of tears um you know it was definitely interesting traveling back and then my higher self was it was amazing like just so there wasn't there was a form but it was like a free flowing soft like there was hair but there was it was it was so free and flowing and <laughs> I have a lot of Libra <laughs> in my chart yes. and that's all I was feeling was like the Libra and the Pisces and oh. the water like that flowing and free and there was a lot of like paths and yellow and flowers blooming and bees oh. pollinating and it just was like you're on the right path to bloom and grow oh i love so that, that was really good i'm so Sorry. happy for you no no this yes. is good this is good you're releasing all of this stuff i'm so happy for you so so happy it was really beautiful and it was like like i have so much to share and so much to give i, I just got it. it was really it was really 
amazing. And, um, and then past life, like that was the first time I've ever even tried. So I was like, okay, I'm going to be open, see what comes to me. And it was interesting because it was like, notice what you're wearing and the view, it was very like Victorian type of clothes almost. I don't, and there was like this brooch and silk, but the angle, and when you said, what are your feet? My feet were bare and on cobblestone and dirty. And the bottom of my skirt was worn and cotton. And I realized like, as it was going on, I was like, I was a serving girl. Like I was helping oh. the lady of the house get ready. So at first I thought like, but it was a weird, it, it, I wasn't identifying that that was me. It was like an angle of like helping and viewing down. And then I realized I was walking behind and that definitely translates to some of the mm, fear of breaking through to success. Oh yeah. Absolutely. That, that I know that I carry in in this time yeah. that I'm working through. And that's so that incredible. was that that made a lot of sense that I was taken there because that goes a lot with a lot of work that I'm doing at home and and finding my path. So this all just really truly resonated with me and and then yeah, it was the beach was really good and all of that stuff and I just I, I I was mentally picturing that as I was driving so I was like awake and safe oh, God. back here <laughs> my eyes were not closed but I have a very strong visualization that I can do I don't know if it's because I'm a Pisces and I can I was imagine say, myself. If you have Pisces yeah that's why <laughs> <laughs> into anything like so you know um so that was, but what a beautiful feeling and relief. And I feel so relieved. And there is a little bit of tiredness. I grabbed my water before I left to rehydrate. <laughs> um, but uh, it, it was, it was amazing. And I feel rejuvenated. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I am so, so happy for you. It sounds like you got here just in time to get exactly what you needed. And it's so definitely, nice. <laughs> definitely. I'm so happy for you. Um, and thank you so much for sharing all of that. Okay, Anita, were you able to do any of the meditation or do you wanna share anything that you've received? Okay. Anita, I don't wanna um, just keep going if, you're, if you are here. So just give me a quick, Yes or no, if you can. Okay. All right. So I'm going to assume, Anita, you're not here. If you do jump back in and you want to share what you got during your meditation, please feel free to just speak up. Um, okay. So guys, I think that it's, that's what we're going to do for today. Um, it seems like everybody really got a lot of good stuff. Um, everybody like everybody got a lot of amazing stuff and I'm just really excited and happy for all of you. Um, so next week, what we will do, we, we might attempt to do something similar where it's going to be like a review of all of the things. Um, but I'm going to think about that because if we're getting a lot of people that are coming in that, you know, are not at this point yet, I might just start going back to, you know, week one and we'll kind of start from the beginning again. So I'm going to actually talk to Alex about that. Um, and then we'll update the schedule for next week. But I'm really glad we got the opportunity to do this today. I feel like this is exactly what was needed. Um, and it's so nice to meet, you know, the new people that were in here. And Amy, it's always so good to see you. Um, things will get better. Keep your head up, girl. <laughs> um, so does anybody have any questions at all before we wrap it up for today? No, no. All right. Awesome. Nope. All good. right. Well, thank you guys so much for coming here. It was so nice to be here with all of you and be a part of this amazing, just amazing experience for you all. 
makes me very happy. <laughs> Um, and if you guys do need to get in touch with me, I said you can private message me or in the chat if you have any questions, anything comes up or anything. Okay. Thank you. This was very good. Oh, you're so nice welcome. Nice meeting you, Christy. Nice to meet you too. Very nice to meet you. And Carrie, nice to meet you. Um, Anita, it's so nice to have you here. I'm not sure if you can hear me or not, but I don't want to leave you out. <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much. I am going to stop the recording.